My name is Captain Jim Klopfer, and I am a fishing guide in Sarasota, Florida. Been doing it since 1991. One of the species that I target most often on my charters are speckled trout. And while I do catch quite a few using live bait, I really prefer artificial lures. So in this video, I'm going to go through my favorite speckled trout fishing lures. The number one lure that has jumped to the number one spot for me is the gulp shrimp. This is really the best compromise between using an artificial lure and live bait. Um, I prefer the three inch gulp shrimp mainly because with the curly tails and the shad tails little pinfish and other species will bite the tail off. Uh, the little twisty tail. These are a tiny bit more durable. It's also the perfect size. I fish them 99% of the time on a one quarter ounce jig head just like you would any other soft plastic bait. Quarter ounce is perfect for the depths that I fish. Obviously you can go down in size or up in size as needed depending on the uh, depth of the water you're fishing and the current. Quarter ounce is a real good size. Number one, speckled trout fishing lure. Uh, honestly I don't think the color makes that much difference. This is New Penny which is one of my favorites. I also like white, white with a chartreuse tail. Uh, this root beer colored one, but honestly I think 90% of it is the scent. You put one of these in front of a speckled trout and you should catch it. The next bait on my list of speckled trout fishing lures is another soft plastic bait. This is the Bass Assassin 4 inch Sea Shad. Um, there's a million different soft plastic baits. I'm not going to tell you that this is the only one that catches fish. Certainly not the case. There's a whole bunch of quality baits out there. They all work when fished correctly. Uh, just like the gulp, I fish this on a quarter ounce jig head. Jerk it up, give it a hop and fall motion is the most productive. This is red gold shiner. One great thing about Bass Assassin, they make a million different colors um, and they're all productive. I like the red gold shiner. I also like natural colors New Penny. Uh, I like white a lot. The white with the chartreuse tail is effective. So every speckled trout angler needs a soft plastic bait. My favorite is the Bass Assassin Sea Shad. Four inch. So what we're doing is drifting the grass flats and casting the jig out ahead of the boat. This is really easy. Just toss it out, let it sink a few seconds, and then use short little twitches like Candace is doing bring it back to the boat. Most of the time the fish hits it when it falls and you just reel fast and come tight on them. This is a really effective technique for trout, ladyfish, bluefish, mackerel, really pretty much everything that swims in Sarasota Bay. I right, say so the technique with the jigs is really easy. You just cast it out, allow it to sink a few seconds, and then bring it back in with short sharp twitches of the rod tip. When you get a bite you just reel really fast and let raise the rod up. Rod up. Rod tip up. There's a school of lady fish in here. Hopefully, we'll find them. All right, Miss Candace has another one on the jig. What do we got here? Oh, a little speckled trout, I think. Cool. Oh, he's cute. You got hold him. That's we catch a lot of these uh, speckled trout. One of the most popular inshore species here in Florida. There's a little guy, but it's cute. We had a bad red tide last year, and uh, so these things are off limits for this year, but it's really nice to start seeing some of these things show up again. Let's get him unhooked and back in the water. Oh yeah. All right, Miss Candace has a better one on here. Oh, that's a really nice trout. I am gonna take my time and get the net with that one. Oh, really nice trout. Get All right, hang on. All right, there he is, pretty little speckled trout. Um, those little grubs, jig and grub combos work fantastic for these guys. They use them all up and down the Gulf Coast of Florida, Alabama, Louisiana. They catch everything. They're easy to use, a lot of fun fishing. All right, Miss Candace. All right, Candace got another one. This time I think it's a pretty nice speckled trout. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll have to get the nest for that dude. No, it's not, it's a bluefish. 
Don't lift him up. Don't lift him up. Uh-uh. Get him, girl. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yep, I just had one cut me off, and Candace caught hers. Yeah. Now we'll get the net and we'll take a look at him. You look up at me. All right, there's Miss Candace's bluefish. Look at it, turn his mouth towards me. You can see he ate that old jig. They got a mouthful of teeth, these guys. They're, uh, they fight hard. They're one of the more hard fighting fish we have in Sarasota Bay. Cool. Candace has another fish on, but we know this, what this one is. It's a ladyfish, because we saw it jump two or three times. Ooh. Oh, there we go, big air. Oh, oh through the no. hook. <laughs> All right, Miss Candace has a ladyfish on. There he goes. All right, Candace got another fish on. That's a trout, I think. We're in a little school of lady fishing trout here on a deep grass edge in Sarasota. That's not too bad. Pretty. Yeah. All right, pretty little speckled trout. Pretty girl with a pretty trout. These things are, are pretty fish. It's kind of a smallish average size one. But they're bouncing back pretty good after the red tide last year. So we'll get her back in the water. Cool. The next bait on my list of speckled trout fishing lures is the Rapala x rap Extreme Action Slash Bait. This is a jerk bait. Again, there are a bunch of companies that make these lures. I just happen to prefer this one. Uh, this 08 size is perfect for most of the fishing that I do as it really imitates the small sardines, threadfin herring, and even finger mullet that we have in our area. Uh, in the middle of summer, oftentimes I'll go to the larger model. This is the 10 size. Uh, it's a better representation of larger pinfish and grunts. You notice on this model, I've replaced the treble hooks with single hooks. I use the same lure for snook fishing a lot as well. Great lure, easy to use. Uh, cast it out, rip it hard through the water, then pause. It'll flutter there, it moves sideways, puts out a lot of flash and vibration. Also a great lure to troll with. Great way to locate fish on the flats, just throw it out 75 feet behind the boat and idle around. Excellent lure for a variety of species, but one of my favorite speckled trout fishing lures, the Rapala X-Rap Extreme Action Slash Bait. This is the new pilchard color. I basically only use three colors. I use the pilchard, or used to be olive, but I like this one a little better. The gold. This is especially good in colored water, water that has a little tannin or, or is otherwise has a little color to it. And then I'll also use what they call ghost, which is white. So, my favorite jerk bait, my favorite hard, hard bait for speckled trout fishing. My next favorite speckled trout fishing lure is the gulp jerk shad. <clears throat> While similar to the gulp shrimp, as far as the scent goes, it's a larger bait with a bigger profile, more of a fluke style tail. Um, like all the other baits, I rig it most of the time on a jig head. You can also use it on a swim bait hook. Give it a jerk and fall action in the water. Um, I basically go up to this larger bait when I'm in a bunch of smaller fish and I'm looking for bigger ones. Just has a bigger profile, tends to catch maybe less fish but larger fish. Um, also an excellent choice in shallow water as it sinks a little bit slower. I'll rig it on an 8 ounce or even a 16 ounce jig head or a light swim bait hook. Only downside is that sometimes a pinfish will grab the tail and bite it off and then you're left with this which will still catch fish but doesn't have quite as much action. So if you're in a school with smaller trout and you want to maybe try to catch a larger one, go to the larger gulp jerk shad. I like white a lot, it's the color I use most often, but again, I think it's more about the scent than it is about the color. Spoons are very effective speckled trout fishing lures as well. There are several different styles. I have gone more to the Castmaster slender body style uh, recently. The biggest advantage of these things is they cast a mile. They're very uh, wind resistant, as you can see in the slender shape. I usually use these more when uh, ladyfish and bluefish and, and Spanish mackerel are also around. 
Um, you can go to the traditional wider bodied spoon like the Johnson Sprite Spoon, which is a, an excellent lure. Silver and gold are the two finishes that I use most. Uh, advantages of these things, you can cast them a long way. They have a lot of built-in action. This spoon also has a swivel. Uh, if, if the spoon you're using doesn't have a swivel, you need to add one or you're going to have line twist issues. You just cast the lure out, retrieve it back in with steady retrieve where it wobbles like this or jerks and falls. Also a great trolling lure. Anytime you see fish busting on surface chasing uh, live bait fish, a spoon's a really good choice for speckled trout and just about every other species. Just like most anglers, I really enjoy catching fish on a topwater plug or any type of surface bait. Anytime you can see the fish strike, it just adds to the excitement. My favorite topwater lure is the Rapala Skitter Prop. A lot of people like to walk the dog baits such as the Zara Spook or the Skitter Walk. Nothing wrong with that. I just find that this little propeller on the rear really adds a lot of action and commotion. As a fishing guide, I tend to use lures that have more built-in action, requiring less skill by the angler, and this bait definitely does that. It's got the conical nose, you throw it out, twitch it sharply, uh, makes a lot of noise while going just a little bit of distance. Excellent to use over shallow bars and grass flats, especially first thing in the morning. If you see birds diving and bait present, um, excellent lure. One thing about topwater plugs, when you get a bite, you got to resist the urge to set the hook right away. It's best to wait until you feel the weight of the fish. So when I see a tape, reel up sharp, reel up fast, and as soon as you feel the weight, it just kind of comes sideways with the hook set. You don't want this thing flying back at you, which is easy to happen when you get excited. But I don't think color matters much on topwater plugs. This is the one I use 95% of the time, and it works great. Rapala Skitter Prop my favorite topwater speckled trout fishing lure. For many anglers, mirror lures are synonymous with speckled trout fishing. This is what they look like in the package. This is the Miro Dean, a uh, larger model which imitate a large threadfin herring or pilchard. The smaller bait um, is very effective when the smaller hatch bait or smaller uh, scale sardines or better known as pilchards or white bait or shiners whatever you want to call them are in the area this is a suspending lure cast it out twitch it sharply and it'll kind of maintain that same depth while hovering in the water and flashing back and forth slowly sinks so you can control the depth that it's being fished this is the Miro Dean as in you know sardine they also make the old traditional 52M series which is a little bit longer um, Maybe a better bet if you're trying to imitate uh, pinfish or whatever. It also has a third treble hook in the middle. So mirror lures been around a long time, still excellent fishing lures. I like the green and olive colors. I like the tiny trout series um, and the green and gold. Excellent fishing lure. We'll, we'll continue to catch speckled trout and other species as um, long as they're around. My last speckled trout fishing lure is actually a fly. Since uh, many anglers fly fish, this is a Clouser minnow. It was designed by a fellow named Bob Clouser to catch smallmouth bass in the Susquehanna River. It's basically a bucktail jig. You have a hook with a little weight and then some type of dressing. Fly anglers have been catching speckled trout on these things forever. The reason I'm including it in this video is you can actually use it as a lure as well. One little trick, well, when the bite's tough, take a plug such as this, or the mirror lure, tie an 18 inch leader to the back of it, and then add the fly. A lot of times, the lure will get their attention and then the fly comes along behind it. This is a little trick that I'll use when the bite is tough. It can be a little tricky casting it because it can tend to whine, but if you just give it a nice lob, um, if you're getting follows but they won't take, Try that. Add an 18 inch leader and then a small fly. You can also use a tiny little curly tail jig, but um, as far as fly anglers go, by far the number one fly here in, in Florida where I fish, and I'm going to guess everywhere else. Clouser, Clouser minnow will catch speckled trout 
and every other species that'll take a fly.